What's going on guys? This is Jeremiah at Savage Family Farms. Just wanted to do a little short video. I hadn't put a lot of videos on lately because it's been raining. We've been doing a lot of stuff. I'm going to try to get out of here and make some videos this weekend. Um, I'm going to pop on here and show you all how we did some uh, pickled eggs. Me and my kids come out here and <coughs> we boiled and cracked probably five dozen eggs. Um, but right here, I'm about to show you. <coughs> cracked them or we'll boiled them cracked them put them in the mason jars I got a brine mix of three two and around a quarter percent it's just three parts apple cider vinegar one part white vinegar or one so three cups apple cider vinegar one cup of white vinegar and then a quarter cup of um, water to go with that so you can scale that up. Um, in this batch, I did four cups of apple cider vinegar, one and a half cup, I think, of white vinegar, and around three quarters of a cup of water. Um, <clears throat> it doesn't have to be exact, just somewhere around there. It really depends on how vinegary you like your um, eggs, your pickled eggs. And I uh, put some pickle spices in here, and in each of the bottom of the jars, we put one clove of garlic, put a little bit of salt, and cracked pepper on top, which it'll wash down whenever you put the brine in there. And uh, <clears throat> we boiled the brine for probably around five to ten minutes, and I put it in the freezer, let it cool down before we put it in these cans. So I'll show you what that looks like real quick. This is our brine we made. It's cooled down. Um, these are all our eggs. And then on this one, I put about a third of a jar with hot sauce. Texas, just regular Texas peat, as you can tell, we eat a lot of, or put a, use a lot of Texas peat on everything. But I'm gonna try that out, see how that works. Um, I'll bring it back in just a minute when I get this. I got my strainer so my pickling spices doesn't go in there. <clears throat> I'll bring it back in just a minute. All right, so we got the brine in here first. This is the one with the hot sauce. We're going to mix it up in just a minute. It's going to bring y'all back. We cleaned up everything. Made a little bit of a mess when we were putting it in there, but that's to be expected. And I always make a little bit more than what I need. I mean, you had enough to make maybe two more quarts in there, but it's always good to have too much than not enough is what I say so if you wanted to store that you could store it and make another heat it back up or whatever so this is the hot sauce and let's see how this one mixes up this is my first time doing it with the hot sauce add I normally add peppers but I wanted to try it with the hot sauce and see how it worked out Turn out pretty good. I was hoping to get like a little reddish tint to that, and maybe it'll soak up that hot sauce. Cause I like mine spicy, but my my kids absolutely love pickled eggs, but they don't like the spice too much. Just give it a little bit of a shake. When I do it, I only put you know your brine to about right here at the bottom. Now, if you were pickling it, you know you wanted to be a little bit more precise with it but that should be good we'll let these sit up for a week or so before we open them up and see how they are and uh i'll make another i'll make another video whenever i open them up and we try them see how they turn out but should be getting out there tomorrow um i know i told y'all we were doing the goat fencing we've been working on it it's just been slow because it's been raining and it's been uh, pretty messy trying to drill holes and put fencing up and everything. So we're going to get out there and concrete some posts in tomorrow. And I'll ride y'all around and give y'all a little update on how that's going. Uh, but as for now, thank y'all for liking, subscribe, share, comment. Appreciate y'all's support. Thank you.